Hey what's going on everyone this is Kedar here and today in this video we have got the EBT and snap emergency allotment update and right here in this video we have got the latest date approved for the month of January snap emergency allotments we have got the exact payment schedule all the important dates and today in this video I'll be bringing you the total list of state which have been approved right for the month of January we have actually got 25 states which have been approved so far additionally there are six states which are paying out their december allotments right here in the january and also the emergency snap benefits are set to expire in the january we are waiting for the extension until the april 2023 and additionally there are 25 states who want federal government to end public health emergency which will be ending snap emergency allotments so in order for those snap emergency benefits to continue as of right now we are recording this video we are still waiting for an official announcement for another three month extension which would continue those emergency payments through the month of april there is a growing concern what is happening after the public health emergency ends and how many households will in fact be impacted by this and because of the expectations is this public health emergency officially end at some point in the 2023 so that seems to be a little bit of consensus and a lot of people are thinking at the same time whether whether or not the government will take any step to address this snap increases there are several of the states which are paying out those emergency allotments including texas virginia massachusetts who are calling for an end of the public health emergency which would bring an end to those snap emergency payments permanently and now tuning to the most recent update let's check out the list of approved state for the january snap emergency allotments and let's check out the exact payout dates when those snap emergency payments are coming out directly from the USDA so they might be slightly different depending on your exact home state depending on in which state you are living and certainly we expect more state added onto the list in the upcoming days and the weeks so let's start off with the first important state which is Alabama right here Alabama will be starting off their benefits starting from January 31st all the way through the 1st of the February then California January 7th or January 13th for the December allotment and speaking of the January allotment for California February 4th or February 11th so remember all these important dates for California then we got Colorado onto the list starting from January 8th going all the way until the January 13th speaking of the DC DC is on a regular issuance schedule so looks like District of Columbia is onto a regular issuance schedule then moving forward we got Hawaii onto the list for the December allotment it will be January 10th then for the January allotment it's actually February 13th then we got Illinois onto the list starting from January 21st going all the way until the January 29th moving forward we got Kansas for the December allotment starting from January 22nd going all the way until January 31st then speaking of the January allotment in the Kansas starting from the february 19th going all the way until february 28th next one is louisiana louisiana starting from the january 7th january 14th january 21st or january 28th then also we got maine onto the list maine will be sending out their benefits on january 10th maryland january 4th all the way through the january 23rd then massachusetts will be sending out their benefits on january 3rd speaking of michigan Michigan, Michigan starting from January 21st going all the way through the January 30th continue to watch all those important dates then moving forward New Jersey starting from the January 1st going all the way through the January 5th then finally we got New Mexico onto the list New Mexico starting from January 1st all the way through the January 31st then we got North Carolina starting from January 22nd all the way through the January 31st then finally we got Ohio Ohio starting from January 24th or the January 25th next one Oklahoma onto the list January 10th going all the way through the January 15th and now remember Oregon will be distributing their payments in total of three rounds round one will begin on January 10th speaking of the round 2 January 30th speaking of the round 3 
that will be happening on February 1st. So continue to watch all these important dates. Then finally, Rhode Island will be sending out their benefits on January 4th. South Carolina, starting from January 1st, going all the way through the January 31st. Then next one, we have the most important state, which is Texas. Texas will be sending out their benefits on January 3rd, going all the way through the January 5th or January 9th through the January 10th. So continue to watch starting from January 3rd going all the way until January 10th for your benefits. Then next one we got Utah, January 28th, Virginia, January 16th and Washington will be sending out benefits anywhere between January 1st through the January 20th. Then we got West Virginia which will be on January 4th and finally Wisconsin on January 21st. Then we also got Vermont onto the list which will be on January 12th. Then moving forward right over here we have got the 6th important state which will be sending out their snap emergency allotment for the month of December right here in the month of January. Now remember these states are usually one month behind so these states so they are a little bit delayed but they will be sending out their benefits right here in the month of January. So starting off with the California. California starting from January 7th or January 14th. Then we got Hawaii starting from the December going all the way until January 10th. Then we got Kansas onto the list January 22nd through the January 31st. Finally we got Massachusetts which will be sending out on January 3rd. Then we got Minnesota January 10th all the way through the January 31st. Then we got Vermont which will be sending out on January 12th. Now speaking of the next important concern, there is a growing concern what is happening after the public health emergency ends which may or may not happen in the April and for those of you still receiving those SNAP emergency allotment payments, if you are going to see those amounts you will receive in SNAP benefits, those SNAP benefits will be reduced back to the non-pre-pandemic levels and how many households will in fact be impacted by this and because of the expectations is this public health emergency officially end at some point in the 2023 so that seems to be a little bit of consensus and a lot of people are thinking at the same time whether or not the government will take any step to address this snap increases well we will actually have to see about those things now what do you think about this one do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the permanent amount of the snap monthly benefits should those be set after the public health emergency ends let us know in the comment section below meanwhile there are lots of things going on regarding the snap benefits so i'll be keep monitoring watching all the important updates and let you know further updates so make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe to our channel how to guys for all the latest updates and thanks for watching this is kedar from how to guys signing out